Hello guys, how you doing? Um, I'm currently in my hotel room in Leicester, having watched Arsenal lose 3-1 tonight. Um, I've posted my On The Whistle video already, but I just wanted to tell you about something that happened after the game, which is that I was able to pass to Arsene Wenger a, a letter that I had written uh, to him. I wrote it actually about a week or so ago, sometime in the fallout after his announcement that he was leaving the club. It's, I'm sure like a lot of you, it's caused me to reflect a lot on his time with Arsenal and what it has meant to me and what he's meant to me, really. And we've talked about it on podcasts and uh, on here and, you know, I'm sure amongst ourselves as friends and fans. But I really felt like I wanted to pay my respects to him individually and I, I was really sad that I couldn't be there on Sunday against Burnley to give him the send-off uh, at the Emirates Stadium. I had other work commitments, but I couldn't be there. I can't get to Huddersfield on Sunday, but I was there tonight and I thought, well, uh, I'll take a shot and I'll try and hand him this letter. And it's, uh, I was working at the game in the press box. It's not uh, an easy thing to do necessarily. Um, you know, he, he lost a, something going on there on the street out there. God knows what. That's Leicester for you, I guess. Um, Jamie Vardy's having a party out <laughs> in the street. Anyway, it's not necessarily an easy thing to do. Um, when a manager has lost a match, they might not be in the most receptive mood. But anyway, after his press conference, I was in the room for his press conference, and he, as he went to leave the room, I just stopped him and said, Arson, I hope you don't mind if I give you this. It's from an Arsenal fan. I just want to say thank you. And he took it from me and uh, he stopped and he looked me in the eye and he said thank you and he shook my hand. And while I have been around Arsenal and worked with Arsenal, you know, in his press conferences and reporting on Arsenal for many, many years, I've never really had direct personal contact with him beyond asking him a question at a press conference, you know. I've never been uh, at that close quarters with him. So it was a nice moment and he was genuinely receptive and genuinely warm. Um, and who knows, maybe he puts it in the bin, maybe he never reads it, but I've done my best and I recognise I'm very lucky to be able to do that. I'm sure a lot of you would love to pass him your own thoughts personally. Anyway, I thought I would read you what I um, wrote to him. Uh, I printed a, a spare copy in case I you know, screwed the other one up. Um, I wrote, Dear Arson, thank you so much for accepting this letter. I feel very privileged that I'm in a position to be able to give it to you. I'm sure there are many fans who wish they could do likewise and doubtless you'll be inundated with mail between now and the end of the season. I'm sure, you know, that he'll get thousands and thousands of these letters. I just wanted to express a personal thanks to you for the enormous influence you've had on Arsenal Football Club and consequently my life. I've been an Arsenal fan since I was very small, uh, but truthfully, football never really grabbed me until you took over the club. I was 10 when you arrived, and suddenly a sport from which I had felt a little bit alienated, that I had associated largely with outdated ideals of masculinity and drinking culture, became accessible and beautiful to me. It was thanks to you I saw that football could be so much more. And that is true, really. I mean... Uh, I was, you know, look at me, I mean, look at my glasses, I was a bit of a sort of little specky, nerdy kid, and I wasn't any good at football. And football was this kind of quite uh, butch, scary thing, you know, and, and, and also like not particularly pretty thing, not a particularly interesting thing to me. And suddenly Arsene Wenger, this erudite man with glasses, arrived at Arsenal and transformed this team into something completely beautiful and completely extraordinary and something that you know something creative something that really made my imagination run wild and I, I went on to write I started writing about football for free as a passion the artistry of your teams inspired me to create in the last few years I've been fortunate enough for that passion to become a profession it is no exaggeration to say I probably would not have become a writer without your presence at Arsenal. And I really believe that's true. 
uh, I really think that without Arsene Wenger, I don't think I would have started writing my blog. I don't think I would have started doing the podcast. I really think that he has been that crucial in the trajectory of my professional life. Um, my job has demanded a measure of objectivity on my part, and I will admit to having criticised you on occasion, quite a lot of occasions, as you will probably know. Uh, I take some solace from the fact that you never let criticism sway you from your determination to stick to your ideals. In that respect, you're a better and stronger man than many. Football is lucky that such an erudite, intelligent person chose to dedicate his life to winning football matches, and Arsenal are especially lucky that you chose to do it with us. Thank you so much, Arsene, for all that you have done and all that you have given. You have been an inspiration and an idol. You have demonstrated that it is possible to be both principled and successful, and instilled in me and millions more an idea of how beautiful sport can be. I wish you every success in your future endeavours, and I don't doubt there is so much more to come. I will cer- I'm certain you will embrace your next challenge with the same dedication and commitment you showed throughout your 22 years at Arsenal. I look forward to seeing you win many, many more football matches. Yours sincerely, James McNicholas. Um, so there you go. That's what I gave Arsenal tonight. Um, I just wanted to show a little bit of thanks, a little bit of gratitude and let him know what a huge figure he's been in my life, yes, but you know, in the lives of so many Arsenal fans. You know, I was ten when he arrived. I'm thirty one now. The vast majority of my life he has been this huge figure. Certainly in my professional life, but also in my personal life. You know, I love Arsenal, it's my hobby and my passion and he's been absolutely the centre of that and he is the instigator of that you know it is his teams that are the reason this channel exists that I have any kind of affiliation with the club I think you know I was an Arsenal fan before Arsenal but he made me love Arsenal he really made me love Arsenal and love football uh, and that's a hell of a gift to give somebody. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd let you know. I'm re- I was so chuffed that he took it and was gracious about it. And uh, I hope he appreciates the sentiment. And then I hope he doesn't Google me and watch me doing parody videos where I'm wearing a wig and pretending to be him. That would be good if he didn't see that. Okay, bye.